It's Kiddie Fiddler Friday, and what better way to celebrate than with someone who genuinely thinks paedophilia is okay. So crack out your old school uniform, put your hair into pigtails, and take a lick of your oversized lollipop. We're going in. My three main reasons why pedophilia is not wrong, in my opinion. Adding in my opinion doesn't make that statement any less fucked up. But hey, let's save some indignation for later on in the video. I don't want to max out early now, do I? Now I got that out of the way, let's get on with the video. The number one reason, children can feel sexual feelings. Yes, I know. H how How do you know? Is this a confession? Oh, I'm gonna be on the news. These little shits right here can feel sexual feelings. Isn't that fucking weird, right? I don't think you of all people get to say what's weird right now. Now, I wouldn't say it's considered sexual really like oh yeah they um go out and fuck people like not like that type of sexual they do have curiosity sexual curiosity where they're curious about genitals and adult genitals well that's normal part of the journey of discovery isn't it being curious about genitals doesn't mean they want someone else's inside of them i was curious about dinosaurs when i was little but that doesn't mean i wanted to be fucked by a tyrannosaurus rex i mean how could he even hold on to me with those little arms and yeah they they like Adult genitals, really all I gotta say. No, no, they are curious about their bodies and the bodies of others. They don't like adult genitals, you fucking wrong'un. Most kids don't even like broccoli going inside of them, let alone dicks. Has been proven this article right here. Oh, we've got an article to prove it then. That's all we need, right? Off you go then, bud. Go on, go molest some infants. Just make sure you print out that article and bring it with you so you can stop the angry mob from throwing bricks at your head. Now, the reason why I'm saying this and why pedophilia is not wrong is because people like to use the argument why pedophilia is wrong is because children cannot feel sexual. I think it's more the children cannot give consent, stay away from my son, how did you get into my house, I'm calling the police argument, really. Now, my proof is this article, and, and I'll read it in a second, and also playing doctor. I am genuinely surprised there was no jump cut there from where you went off to have a crafty rub over that photo. If you have hanged out with children before or actually interacted with children you'll know that children like to play sexual games like playing doctor and just things that that they explore the genitals like other genitals playing doctor yes playing gynecologist not so much. This, again, comes down to the natural curiosity of the child, which you are on about manipulating to get your end away, and it's fucking disgusting. They're curious. Curiosity about their body, including genitals, touching their body, touching their genitals, including masturbation in public and in private. <laughs> yeah, same here. And no inhabitations are around nudity. No, it says no inhibitions. Not whatever you said. It would be a real shame if you were so illiterate that you couldn't read the graffiti sprayed on the front of your house but i can save you the trouble it says child molester and yeah that's to um ages zero to two years old <laughs> Isn't that weird? And now let's go on to toddlers. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Ooh, the best part. Mohammed on a bendy bus, I was joking. Please stop, I was joking. Occasional masturbation, this usually occurs as a soothing behavior rather than for sexual pleasure. May occur publicly or privately. But that means them though, yeah? At no point does it say you can go over and give them a hand with it. <laughs> Consensual and playful exploration with children of the same age this includes playing house or playing doctor. That's what I just said. I really feel as though you should have emphasized the with children the same ages part, not the playing doctor part. Many ask questions about sexuality or reproduction such as where do babies come from. May show curiosity in regard to adult bodies. Wanting to go into the bathroom parents touching women's breasts. Yeah, and men's genitals. It does not say that. It does not say that. It does not say that. You can continue lack of innovation around nudity. May take off the diaper or clothes off. Use slang terms for body parts and bodily functions. As in poop, or willy, or cooch. Not as in being taught how to milk a cow while wearing a blindfold. So yeah, they're starting to know about the genitalia and starting to be attracted to genitalia. That's the reason why I believe kids or pedophilia should be legal and also why pedophilia is not wrong. The psychological effects of it would disagree with you there, you fucked up piece of shit. I'd rather go through puberty again than actually meet you. At least acne waited until I was 14 before coming on my face. Because kids are sexual beings, like you and I, we're sexual beings. 
I am a sexual being, you are a pervert. They can feel sexual thoughts using this as a reason because people keep saying the same thing over and over again. Kids cannot feel sexual feelings, which gets on my nerves. And then I show them this and they, they completely turn a blind eye and still say the same shit. Well, you just wait until you get to prison, me lado. You'll find the guards turning a blind eye too, every time you take a shower. Number two. People keep on saying it's a mental illness, even though it's not. I'd agree with them there. I'd be happy to put it down to a chemical imbalance, and that's not your fault. Totally beyond your control. Acting on it, however, is more deserving of chemical castration, or at least bringing back the old dungeon-style prisons. Now, people like to use this reason why pedophilia is wrong, because it's a mental illness. And they like to say, oh, the DSM-5 or whatever, I don't know what the fuck to call it. <laughs> Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders 5th Edition. How did you fuck up the abbreviation? I forgot what it was called. The DSM-5 um, considers it um, goddamn a mental illness. Oh, yeah, you didn't know the DMSMI used to also consider homosexuality a disorder, right? Yes, yes it did. Homosexuality was decriminalized in the UK in 1967, provided it was behind closed doors and between two consenting adults of or over the age of 21. There's two words I want you to look at there. Consent and adults. Just because it's considered now a mental disorder doesn't mean it's fully a mental disorder. Especially when the topic is rarely ever re- That's bollocks! There has been significant research into paedophilia since the late 1970s, two of the major studies being in 2009 and 2011, and we know from MRI scans that there seems to be an issue with the white matter in pedos' brains, suggesting they may just be wired differently, aka an abnormality, hence why it is now seen as a mental disorder. And I really need to stop reading about this, because it's like when you go on WebMD and all of a sudden you have every illness on there. Mental disorders like schizophrenia, depression, and all this other shit, etc, etc, etc. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's a small one, but et cetera. Et, not ek, et. It means and, as in, you are a paedophile, et, you will go to jail. Now I'm going to explain why it's not a mental disorder. I'm not just going to flat out say it, because that's going to make me look like I am the opposition side. I don't supply art reasons or arguments. But yeah, I'm going to give reason why. Reason number one, pedophilia is natural. And by that logic, you could say the same thing about rape. Moving on! And unless that all animals share the same mental illness that is called pedophilia and also homosexuality, since this also occurs in the animal kingdom. And the animal kingdom doesn't have bank accounts, prisons, affirmative action, or nectar points. Mate, I've seen a chicken rape a duck. Does that seem normal to you? Pedophilia can't be a mental illness. A mental illness is a human quirk. Human quirk, something wrong in the human mind or animal's mind, something that doesn't exist in all species. Oh, mental illness is a quirk. Well, thank you, doctor. At least I have a name for it now. But pedophilia and homosexuality in, is in this animal kingdom, and it's pretty normal. If you watch ped Is Pedophilia Natural by Partograph or study on biology and animals before, eh, you will know that it really isn't a mental illness if you kind of think about it. Oh yeah, I've seen that loads of times. All the cockerels looking at the chicks in the incubator. Lovely bit of gel bait that. Oh, gonna take them back to my coop for some ice cream. I see that all the fucking time. So that dismisses the whole notion that pedophilia is a mental illness. Because animals. Animals can suffer mentally too, you know. They can suffer from trauma, depression and anxiety as well as a plethora of others. Here's a pigeon committing suicide. Reason number two, pedophiles are born with a mental illness. Ah, uh, you just said it was a mental illness. Or not mental illness, I'm just putting it in quotes. Ah. Uh. I meant the attraction to children. Now, I, I'm going to post an article right here. If you guys want to go check it out, put the link in the description below. No, no, I'm not reading any more about pedo fucking philia. My search history was already questionable enough as it fucking was. I wouldn't agree fully with it, but it does state why pedophilia is not a mental disorder. Because pedophiles are born with the attraction to children. Some, at least most. Just like you were born with a mental disorder, eh? Different wiring in the brain, eh? And it also states that pedophilia comes from a gene and also pedophiles are wired to be attracted to children. Like, it's something in the brain. Like a mental disorder! It's also, also caused a whole notion that, that pedophilia being mental illness is horseshit. And 
and I bet you'd fuck that too! Let's go search up the meaning of mental illness. Mental illness. Ah, fucking definitions! A wide range of conditions that affect mood, thinking, and behavior. A mental illness has to affect you in the life. Like schizophrenia. You're not born with fucking schizophrenia. You're not- You're not born with, um, depression. Oh, for fu- While we don't know the cause of schizophrenia, we do believe it comes down to a combination of genetics, brain chemistry, and environment. So I want you to hamishly focus on the genetics and the brain chemistry part. That is, an imbalance of dopamine suggesting that, yes, you can indeed be born with it. Like, you don't come out your mother and- fucking become depressed. It doesn't work like that. I bet she was the moment she saw you, though. But let's go on to my third reason. The reason number three. People like to use the claim that most pedophiles were abused during childhood. Yep. I swear to God, I, if I had to, if I had a quarter for every time I heard this claim why pedophilia is wrong, I'd probably get a million dollars. So that's an estimate of four million times you've been told that. Four million times and you still think you are right. Swear to God, this is the most overused claim, and people do not back themselves up when they say this. They usually just flat out say it without backing themselves up, without an estimate, a stat, a site, anything. They really don't back themselves up. But I bet you're about to, right? Now, the closest proof I can find since there's no proof of how much pedophiles are abused, really. Well then, can I get a shut the fuck up? Well, at least in my knowledge, because I tried searching that shit up, I couldn't really find it. It's fucking hard. Yeah, that and the local court putting all the internet blocks on your computer. But this article says, not really article, but facts, myth and facts site, that proves that most pedophiles are really not abused during childhood. Becker and Murray, Murphy, 1998, estimated that while 30% of sex offenders were sexually abused as child children, 70% were not. Well, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Considering you are advocating that it isn't abuse, therefore they wouldn't have seen it as abuse. Hidman and Peters, 2001, found that 60% of sex offenders include initially reported experiencing sexual abuse as a child, but when given a polygraph lie detector test, the proportion dropped to 29%. The polygraph machine? Do you mean the one which has been deemed unreliable as there is no evidence that any pattern of physiological reaction is unique to deception? Is that the one you mean? No, no, I'm, I'm sure you mean a different one. Now let's go and move on to my last reason why pedophilia is not wrong. Alright, awesome! This is it, guys! This is why we are all here! Number three, why pedophilia is not wrong. People like to use the claim that children will get pregnant. Now, when I'm talking about pedophilia, people really, really don't get the meaning of pedophilia. Yeah, yeah, I I'm sure that's the issue. They really don't. Pedophilia is attraction to prepubescent kids. Prepubescent means before puberty. Right, now say that back to yourself, very slowly. You cannot get pregnant before puberty. If you get pregnant before... Wait, if you get pregnant, then that means you're pre pubescent. You're not prepubescent. No, no, we've lost him. He's broken. There is another four minutes after this of him retreating into his own asshole, but it's really not worth the time. It should be noted, however, that while he spoke at length about why paedophilia isn't a mental illness, his only reason for why it isn't wrong is because children can't get pregnant. So by that logic, we can fuck animals too, because they won't be giving birth to fuzzy little hybrids. <gasps> That's how we get furries! Shit, that just fucked up my life! So either paedophilia is a mental illness and is a crime, or it isn't, but furries do have a mental disorder. Fuck, I used to be so sure, now I'm torn. I need to meditate on this, and maybe smoke some crack. Just a quick note to remind you all that I do not condone the harassment or bullying of any of the people whose videos I cover here, and also to check out Toon, a channel much the same as this one, but seemingly on LSD, the link is in the description. Toon and I will be putting out a video together next week, so make sure you check him out and soak up some of those dank memes. And Toon, I am sorry I had to make this announcement off the back of a video about paedophilia, but most most of your audience are on some kind of register anyway. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, are there more paedophiles nowadays, or are kids just getting sexier?